President Trump taking action this week to deliver on his campaign promises and to working hard to roll back the mistakes and the misguided policies of his predecessor. The president today refusing to recertify the Iranian nuclear deal, which then President Obama called historic. President Trump today warned Republican leaders he will terminate that agreement altogether if McConnell and Ryan fail to restore sanctions against Iran. Congressional and senatorial ineptitude forcing the president to take action on Obamacare as well. President Trump cutting off billions of dollars of subsidy payments to health insurance companies. The president also signing an executive order allowing interstate competition for health insurers. And this week, the president also took action to put his 70-point immigration enforcement plan to work, including demands that must be met if Congress wants a deal of any kind on DACA. And it is clear President Trump means to fix the mess left him by Obama, with or without the help of congressional leaders. He also met with Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau. He nominated a new DHS secretary and campaigned for tax cuts in Pennsylvania. All of this as the Trump economy rolls on. Markets tonight are at record highs. Consumer confidence at the highest level in 13 years. All of this presidential work, all of these presidential actions, threatening the establishment, of course, the swamp. That's why the left, the GOP establishment and elites, big business, all absolutely hate any success demonstrated by the Trump administration. And there is a mounting, mounting number of successes the president can claim and the American people can say, thank you, Mr. President. All the while this week, Congress and the Senate well, they were lazing about in the D.C. swamp of many critters. It is truly fun to watch, isn't it?